Ever wondered how many people it takes to run a digital bank that's shaking up the financial world? Like, seriously, how many employees does Kanto actually have? Picture this, you're a budding entrepreneur, tired of the red tape and slow processes of traditional banking. You stumble upon Kanto, and it's like a breath of fresh air. Easy to use, sleek interface, and it actually understands the needs of small businesses. But have you ever stopped to think about the army of people behind this digital wizardry? Let's dive in. Now, you might be thinking, why does this even matter? Fair enough. But understanding the scale of a company can give you a pretty good idea of its resources, its potential, and even its level of commitment to customer service. A small team might be nimble and innovative, but a larger one could mean more support and stability. So, how do we find out the exact number of Kanto employees? Let's do some detective work. First stop, the Kanto website. It's a goldmine of information, or so we hope. We're looking for numbers, hard facts, employee spotlights, anything that gives us a clue. We dig through the About Us page, the career section, even their social media. Any mention of team size, workforce, or headcount? But wait, there's more. What about those job boards? LinkedIn, Indeed, Glassdoor, they could be treasure troves of data. We filter by company, look for job postings, and try to piece together a picture of Kanto's staffing needs. Are they hiring aggressively? In what departments? This could hint at their growth trajectory and overall employee count. And let's not forget about industry reports and news articles. Financial publications often have data on fintech companies, including employee numbers. Plus, there might be press releases about funding rounds or expansion plans that mention staffing increases. But here's the thing, even with all this information, getting a precise, up-to-date number might be tricky. Companies aren't always transparent about their employee count. Numbers can fluctuate rapidly, especially in a fast-growing tech startup like Kanto. So, instead of chasing a specific number, let's focus on the bigger picture. What do the available clues tell us about Kanto's growth, its culture, and its potential? Is it a small, tight-knit team or a bustling corporation? Are they investing in customer support, technology, or expansion? By piecing together the information we've gathered, we can start to build a profile of Kanto as an employer and as a company. And that, in the end, might be more valuable than a simple number. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time. Let us know in the comments if you've had any experiences with Kanto or if you've managed to uncover the exact employee count. We'd love to hear from you.